Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on soon. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. Hey guys, welcome to this vlog. So this is a morning on a typical weekday so i'm just making breakfast for my daughter so she can go to school and i like putting everything at once that it still leaves or drinking chocolate because it's just the two of us and on this day i decided to add this fresh rosemary that i bought from the market you saw it on my last vlog and i'm telling you the taste was out of this world so the previous day i had made pancakes live the live is also still there so we had some pancakes left and that is what I warmed so she could carry one and also take one for breakfast. You only want to eat half? Okay, mama. My baby is not a morning person. Why don't you eat a good enough breakfast in the morning? But in the evening, she can eat two of them. I don't understand. But in the morning, she wants half or she wants one slice of bread only. Okay, they eat half. guys welcome to this video it's a what i eat in a day in kenya so it's a weekday on weekdays sometimes my daughter and i eat the same thing other times i make different things after she's going to school because there are some things that take time and i don't do that in the morning so i have pancakes that i had prepared yesterday so i have like two left only and i want to make avocado i want to add avocado toast so let's make that together so i can have my breakfast so this is what we do in the morning it's currently 10 a.m a clove of garlic and I saw someone on the internet that when you rub this on your avocado toast it takes it from a normal avocado toast to a very delicious one so let's try let's see okay let's also rub it on this other side it's kind of hot it has a very distinct taste and anyone who's tried it swears by it i'll have to try it again to decide whether i like that garlic taste <laughs> or not black pepper and you like black pepper you can sprinkle on top at this point i'm leaving this avocado because i'm going to eat it in, uh, during lunch with the food we don't have to meet at the bar getting drinks we don't have to sleep together for the night and forget each other's lives oh no this doesn't have to So my breakfast is ready. We have my avocado toast, bananas, and pancakes. For the longest time for me, breakfast has always been the most important meal. Not like just saying, but I really, really value breakfast. But now over the years, I don't know the laziness that got into me and I started doing majorly just bread or sometimes bread and cake and something. But now I'm getting back to it. 
so what i do is i just have the normal thing which is bread but you can toast it even if you don't use avocado just normal toasting so on top of your normal thing which is bread add one more thing which can be pancakes can be cakes can be sausage samosa anything and then add fruits which can be bananas blueberries strawberries and you have now a complete meal which is delicious and this is what i'm doing these days See you at lunchtime. I can't talk. Oh my god. See you at lunchtime. As I was here eating like there is no tomorrow, I had forgotten to take a photo of this <laughs> meal for my thumbnail. So I just ate and ate until this avocado toast was halfway. Then I remember that oh my god, I'd not taken a photo. <laughs> so yummy. Ah! No way. <laughs> I didn't take a photo. It's lunchtime and I want to show you the food that I'm eating. Normally, I prepare one meal a day. So that can be lunch, stroke supper. But most of the times I do supper stroke lunch. So what we ate last night is what I want to warm. Take some to, uh, for my daughter at school. Eat also the remaining. And then at night, that's when I'll cook fresh food. Which we'll also eat for tonight and tomorrow lunch. So let me show you what we have. Mm -hmm. So we had rice with uh, dengu, dengu, green grams. Yeah, so I'm just want to warm it. I'm still a little bit full because of that heavy breakfast, and it's 12:30. So I'll eat at two, and I won't need much food. It's 2 p.m. and here is my lunch. I'm just eating. So these are green grams as I showed you, avocado and rice. Just the same thing that I had for dinner is what I'm also having right now. It's 4 p.m. and Taraji is home from school. So I want to prepare evening uji porridge. Sometimes we do tea. If it's tea, I don't cook again. It's the same tea that we did in the morning. But other times I do porridge. So that's what I'm preparing. So I'm using this porridge flour. It's actually uh, getting finished. So this is a mixture of millet, sorghum, and it is CTC. I don't know what it is because I got it from home, up country when I travel. I'm just going to mix it with water and then pour it into the boiling water. I don't, I don't measure stuff really. It's dark. I've forgotten to turn on the ring light. So I'm just going to mix it. I normally mix it in a smaller jug. I can't find it. Jug in is a quite mender up there. I'm going to put it in the jug. I'm going to put it in the jug. Anyway. So this is it. If I feel like I need to add, I'll mix it some more. But mix it smoothly so you don't have the, any lumps. If it is too liquid, I'll add more flour. If it is too thick, I'll add more water. Like that. Taraji is here with her friend. They are playing. So let me prepare a little bit more. So I just pour that mixture into the boiling water, the hot water, and then stir continuously. Don't stop. The minute you stop, you get lumps. You stir until you get the consistency you want. So it's thick enough. I'll just lower the heat and let it boil some more. If it becomes thicker than this, I'll add more water. But for now, we'll keep it at this consistency. So I want to add some lime. Sometimes I use this fruit one. Other times I use the one in a sachet, kind like a five bob. Yeah. So just make the seeds. It doesn't have any other. So I'm just going to squeeze this in and then add sugar. Let it boil some more, and that's it. 
And I'm trying to use to soak that flour and water mixture, leave it for even a day or more so it can ferment. Measurements where? What is measurements? <laughs> And we have to test how will you know that it's enough. I let it boil some more and allow it still. So the porridge is ready. I want to I want to cool it. Guys, don't ever give anyone, adult or child, hot porridge. That is witchcraft, witchy behavior. You know, chawi. Do you know how hot porridge can burn? Worse than tea. It is Uchawi? No, say not witchcraft. I cool mine by just putting it on cold water and then I keep stirring as if I'm cooking it. If the water gets hot, if it's for adult, adults, it's just for a short while. If it's for kids, I can even change the water, put more cold water. Continue. Just like that. So just do this until it cools down. We've said we are not witches. And tasty porridge is warm porridge, not hot, not cold, warm. Maybe I'll grab a cup of coffee and listen to a favorite song. I'm such an idiot, I'm pathetic, thought I was moving on. Do you guys also have kids who believe the evening, even porridge has to be with escort? They can't understand how they are taking. See, porridge is supposed to be just porridge. Like me, I just take porridge. I can take it with escort yet. Yes, but porridge is just porridge. It doesn't have to be with bread. But these ones, <laughs> they'll be like, no, we want bread or something. Oh, mandazi. So guys, I'm going to buy food for supper. So let's go. So I want to prepare dinner. It's 6 p.m. We're having beef with potatoes and these vegetables. I don't know why it feels like I've forgotten something, but uh, to these vegetables I'm going to add onions and I'm also going to add garlic. So I want to first boil this beef and then prepare this and you'll see the rest. I didn't buy broccoli. I For those of us who don't have kitchen countertops, Aki, that's the one thing that I just don't like about this kitchen. There is no even a small levy. They would have even put even here, just like a small kitchen countertop. So imagine preparing food on the sink. But anyway, Aki, seeing the job in counter. Anyway, remove. But it's annoying. This is one bedroom house. Even bed sitters have small kitchen countertops. How can I, one baby not have? Let me stop complaining. 
and prepare these potatoes. I wanna go to parties. I also want good grades. I wanna finish high school. Scared of making my mistakes. I wish for you to take your twist. But only when I want. I could be pretty, baby. Teeth and confidence You know all about the red and blue I don't know myself what I would do Somehow I could be so very reckless Make all of my own decisions If you told me how Now you know the ugly thing The bittersweetness in this ring From how I wanted you Expression. I wanna be hurt. I wanna know what love is and which one comes first. Is this what it feels like to be twenty one? Tell me where I've put this here so the water can drain. I want to cook them and I don't want them to have water because they'll be soaky. <laughs> Her salt has fallen outside. <laughs> I was clearing the sink so I can use this place. So I put it here. The next thing I just had, boom, boom, boom. Let me go. Let me go out and look for that salt. Of course, it has fallen, but I want the container. <laughs> if there's no salt remaining, I'll have to pass by Lucy and ask her for some salt. Look at the container. Have you ever done something and then afterwards you ask yourself, why was I, why was I going to look for salt after done the container? Of course it was not covered, so you knew there was no salt remaining. Though it was almost full. Even this thing has broken. So why was I going to look for this? Because I know I have no salt somewhere. <laughs> it's just weird. Let me look for... <laughs> I must have more salt somewhere. Let me just check. Huh? And voila! As those ones are still cooking, I want to mash these potatoes. I have drained all the water. I didn't want to drain all the water. But it's okay. It's soft. I don't have that. What is it called for mashing? I use this. 
So I already put some salt. Let me just test if the salt is enough. I'm going to add two things. I'm going to add margarine. Whether you're using blue band, prestige, whichever. Provided it's margarine. And I'm also going to add milk. And then I'm just going to mash. our ready meal so it's the beef and these vegetables gorget yellow pepper green pepper carrot french beans mishiri and then this is the mashed potatoes and how it came out i'm telling you it is so yummy taraji here said at vegetables for who so far she's eating that and she's adding looks the tomato like sauce. ice cream looks like ice cream so she's adding tomato mm. sauce apple. <laughs> eating even up And I know, guys, you didn't see me, but you always hear me when I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, you make did. sure you subscribe. Yes. To this channel. <laughs> yeah, you didn't see her because today it was just all about cooking. So this is our meal. Let me enjoy it. Moment of truth. And they say, "Okay, let's get it." Mm. Right. Mm. Enjoy my say. Mm. So many it's delicious. Sometimes instead of the greens, I usually do cabbage. Today I didn't feel like doing cabbage. I don't like doing the green greens like skum and whatever with these kind of mixes. It's either cabbage or these vegetables. I think it's so nice. I'll try adding broccoli. I've never cooked broccoli, but it looks human looks good when I look at other people's food. So I'll try to do that. Guys, you know what I'm going to do next. <sighs> I need to eat and I'm so tired. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in my next vlog. Guys, my tastes like ice cream. It's delicious. Your food tastes like ice cream. Mm -hmm. The sweet potatoes. Mm. Mm. Bye bye. Bunny, bunny. Oh.